Another great way to keep your kids in a healthy mindset, especially around eating, is helping them cook with you and being thankful for all of the ingredients. Eating and staying in our seats for meals has been a struggle for my kids and me. And this has been a great way to not only have fun, but learn the importance of food and be thankful for our meals. Being raised on a farm really taught me the value of not just the food itself, but how it got to our tables. A lot of hard work goes into planting, raising, nurturing, and harvesting the food that we eat. When I cook with my kids, we talk about where the food came from and how we can be thankful for it. We thank each ingredient, each plant, each animal, and the farmers. And my son loves to thank the tractors and the combines because they had a big job to do. And I love to thank the grocery store and even thank myself for getting all these ingredients. Thank you, cauliflower cakes. Thank you, broccoli. What else can we be thankful for? Oh, thank you, eggs. Thank you, eggs. Thank you, eggs. Thank you, chickens, for laying the eggs. And when we get to eat our meals, I love to acknowledge my kids and thank them for cooking such a yummy meal, no matter how much or how little they helped out. It's not only something they can be proud of, but really have a broader understanding of how it all got to our table. I think it's really healthy for kids and adults to keep thankfulness and appreciation in our hearts and minds, especially when we eat and consume food. Thank you. Thank you. Cheese. Cheese. Thank you, cheese, for being in our food. Thank you, spinach. Thank you, spinach. What else? Thank you, broccoli. Thank you, cauliflower. Thank you, everything, okay? <laughs> Thank you, everything. That just covers it all, right? Being thankful for our food has really helped us be healthy around eating and being thankful for it coming to our dinners and breakfast and lunch, right? Yeah. Yes.